Hey guys, I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com and I'm here with the last of the Windows Phone 7 devices, the Dell Venue Pro. It came in this morning and it's one of two devices to sport a physical QWERTY keyboard, the LG Quantum and of course the Dell Venue Pro. It's a pretty cool device. There's an 8 gigabyte version, a 16 gigabyte version and it's available exclusively through Dell's online store. It's a T-Mobile device, works on T-Mobile's 3G, but it's not being sold in T-Mobile retail stores. Is this the one to have? Have we been waiting for the best Windows Phone 7 device? Who knows, we'll find out in the unboxing, at least we'll try to find out in the unboxing. Special thanks to our friends at Best Buy Mobile, they hooked us up, not with two of these, but with a bunch of other phones in the One Paw Bandit game. You know, when you go to Best Buy, you don't deal with mail-in rebates, that's pretty cool. Don't have to really worry about messy paperwork or anything of that nature. It's unboxing time, let's get into it. Windows Phone 7 device, Dell Venue Pro, is it the best? We'll find out. So here's the Dell Venue Pro, and you know, it's about time, you know, there've been a bunch of manufacturing delays, Shipping issues, all kinds of stuff that have contributed to this thing not shipping. It originally launched in Microsoft stores, and the Microsoft stores pulled it because of Wi-Fi issues. A bunch of different things, but anyway, it's shipping now, so it should be in the hands of consumers starting now, and then you know more so in the coming weeks. I ordered mine yesterday on the 29th. They quoted me a uh, January 2nd date as to when I would get it, but it's the 30th, and it's already here. So you can see. They're moving pretty quickly and they're moving, looks like they're moving ahead of schedule. So it's here, it's gonna be interesting though because the Dell Aero, one of the worst Android devices I've ever reviewed or devices period that I've ever reviewed my entire life. It'll be interesting to see if the Venue Pro kind of turns around that image that Dell's made for itself with, uh, with cheap handsets. All the early reviews of this have been very good, so let's find out. Here's the box and actually the box is exactly the same as the box the Aero comes in, but granted, you know, it's black and has the Venue Pro logo on it, and of course, different stickers uh, than the uh, than the Dell Aero on AT and T. Here are the specs: eight gigabytes, four point one inch uh, AMOLED display, full QWERTY keyboard, one gigahertz processor, five megapixel camera. You know the specs: typical Windows Phone Seven stuff, Wi-Fi, GPS, Bluetooth, UMTS or three G, HSDPA, uh, and then you get the phone in the box, battery, SIM card, USB charger and cable, stereo headset, and of course all your instruction manuals. Let's open it up and take a look. Ooh, that's nice. Protective little layer of film. Pretty excited about this one because it's been kind of the mysterious Windows Phone 7 uh, handset that was announced on the uh, on the November 8th event, but never really, uh, never really seen until now. So there it is, there's the Venue Pro. You can see what the hardware looks like. And I'll tell you, it's funny, pulling it out of the box, it's a huge, it's a big honking phone. It's, uh, it feels good in the hand, don't get me wrong, and at least an early inspection, the build quality is very good. Feels good, the hinge is tight, no build, build quality issues there, but it's a big phone. I mean, you compare it to something like the Evo, and you can see the Evo is just ever so slightly smaller than the, uh, the Venue Pro. So it's a big device, and don't let the pictures fool you on that front. Let's see here, on the right side you have volume rocker, camera shortcut button, on the left side nothing. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, power button, five megapixel camera with a flash in the back. I like this little texturized design that they've done on the back. We'll get into that more in detail in just a second. Your typical three windows buttons, back, uh, home, and search. And there's that physical QWERTY keyboard, which we'll jump into in one minute. There's our battery, 1400 milliamp battery. Let's see what comes in the box. Windows Phone 7, do not discard. It's like I have a serial number there. And a T-Mobile SIM card, I can always use that for later. And let's see what's down in here in the little accessories pouch. Open that up. And it's the typical Dell stuff, actually very similar to what came with the Aero. Not the exact same products. Here's the AC adapter module. Pull that out. Our USB, no I'm sorry, uh, earbuds. Let's take a look at these. See what they look like. Looks like a pretty low end. Oh no, I'm sorry, these actually are pretty decent earbuds. And there's a uh, inline mic on those. And I love these earbuds that actually go in the ear versus sitting on the outside. I have small ears, so it's hard to, or small eardrums at least, and so it's hard to get that kind of stuff in my ear. Uh, you're like, I don't care, keep going. Micro USB. Data cable slash charging port. Sorry about that. That's what that looks like. And then a couple other goodies in the bottom, your instruction manuals. Warranty and support information. Dell Venue Pro safety, environmental, and regulatory information. So, a bunch of goodies down in the box. Let's get the battery in and power it up. Get this stuff back in the box. So I wanna see, the sucker looks like powered on. Let's get our battery out. Let's see here. 
there's our battery. Let's see what the overall the phone looks like. I kind of got into this a second ago, but you can see this nice little texturized uh, design on the back. I really like that. It's nice touch. Makes the phone look good. You can see very glossy. Definitely going to be prone to fingerprints, I can already tell. Then you have your 4.1 inch display. Doesn't seem like they, when you pull these off, it doesn't give that nice noise like it used to. Those were the days. Uh oh, did we get some? Yeah, a little bit. But not much, not nearly as exciting as phones of the past. Our physical QWERTY keyboard. It's a four row QWERTY keyboard. One thing I do like out of the box, I can already tell you dedicated spacebar row, which is a nice, nice feature. And then here is the, uh, the phone itself. Let's go ahead and get a SIM card to put in that. Pull out the SIM card out of the Nexus S and get that set up. Let's see. So, so far, you know, the build quality looks pretty good. Can't complain there. Let's see. Alrighty. SIM card in. And let's power it up. It's a big phone. Big phone, but I like it. The build quality feels good. I like the uh, the chrome on the sides. Combination of, uh, of glass and chrome really looks nice. Let's get the sticker off on the back here. Bam. So there it is. It's powering up. And you can see nice big keys in the bottom. That's pretty impressive. Not, not a chiclet type keyboard like the uh, like you've come to know uh, and love on the Palm Pre. Let's get started. Accept. I accept. Let's do the recommended settings. And that screen really looks good. It's not as vibrant by any means as the Samsung Focus is uh, just super vibrant, uh, super AMOLED display. But it definitely looks good. And you can notice there's a slight curve to the Venue Pro, the Venue Pro's display as well. So it makes it look really good. Let's sign into my Windows Live ID. So I finally got it in and it said, all done, have fun. Thank you, Dell. We will have fun. You can see just in two minutes of using this device, there are a bunch of fingerprints all over the display. So it's definitely going to be prone to fingerprints, but the phone actually looks good. The AMOLED display is incredibly vibrant. Very pleased with the way that it looks. Now you can see typical, uh, typical tiles here. T-Mobile people messaging Hotmail. Let's see what comes pretty installed. Newsroom, which we'll take a look at. Telenav, T-Mobile's GPS stuff. Page wants personal finance. Family room, T-Mobile TV, my account. And that looks to be all of the T-Mobile pre-installed stuff, but let's take a look at the newsroom because I'm pretty interested to see. I'm wondering if this is like Samsung's uh, news feed or news program. It looks like it is. Newsroom, it gives you the weather. Yeah, it looks like something. Yeah, let's allow it to use my location. Gives me the weather, gives me the news, gives me the stocks. So it's kind of like daily briefing on Samsung, but I will tell you, you know, I'm just, just looking at it. The camera, I say this in every single video, but can't really see it on the camera, but the uh, AMOLED display is very nice and looks very crisp and very clear and I'm happy that they included a 1400 milliamp battery because with a big display it, uh, it's going to suck down the juice like it's nobody's business so nice to have that pre-installed on the device. You can see the blues are very vibrant without being kind of oversaturated like the Samsung Focus's display is which is, uh, which is very nice. Let's jump into messaging just to get an idea of the on-screen keyboard here. Hello, how are you? Ah, it's no fun. Let's change that. The sly kitty jumped over the brown fox. Kind of feel like a traitor saying sly kitty on phone dog, but that's okay. Sly kitty jumped over the brown fox. You have your portrait and your landscape keyboard there. And then when you want to use the physical, of course, the, the uh, on screen goes away. And one thing I like is there's really no lag on the uh, on the physical QWERTY. Very quick, very easy to use, and uh, and no lag. That's always been a complaint of mine. That little one to 1.5 second lag is frustrating to no end. I don't really see it on the Dell Pro or Venue Pro just yet. But that display looks great. Keyboard works really well, and then uh, it'll be interesting to work with Newsroom, Page Once, Family Room, all that T-Mobile stuff in the coming days leading up to the review. Much more coverage to come on the Dell Venue Pro. Excited to have it in my office, so keep it locked on PhoneDog.com for continuing coverage. In the meantime, be sure to like us on Facebook just a few weeks until we give away up to 100 iPads, Galaxy Tabs, or BlackBerry Playbooks on our Facebook page. It's exciting. All you have to do is like us, fill out the sweepstakes forms, and you're ready to go. Facebook.com slash PhoneDog. Like me on, or actually follow me on Twitter as well, PhoneDog underscore Aaron. 
and, uh, and ask me any questions you have about the device. I'll do my best to help you in any way I can. So be sure to uh, follow me on Twitter, phone dog underscore Aaron. Thanks for watching. Keep it locked. More coverage to come. We'll see you next time.